Welcome back to Land the House. Last video, I showed you that I was making a floating shelf for the new baby's room. Well, I have it finished here. I'm going to go ahead and get this installed today. So, uh, we've already picked out the place on the wall that we want this. So, let's hang it up. Okay, there we have it. Pretty simple uh, install. So later on I'm going to come back and do a full video on this so you can watch the whole build. With my glasses the autofocus for some reason isn't picking up my face. So maybe it's better like this. I don't know. <laughs> Emma and I spent most of the morning at the park playing and uh, down at the river throwing rocks. Didn't film any of that but uh, I did film a guy walking the tightrope. That was very interesting. Watch this. Yes, on the wall. So uh, I think what I'm going to do now is work some on the coffee mug holder. Um, I just need to basically put a little glue on a block, stick it in there, and then clamp it. Uh, they wanted all different heights in there uh, to fit different types of mugs. But anyway, I'm going to work on that for a few minutes and then uh, see what else we can get into. Just leaving work on a Friday afternoon. So um, I just bought Ashley and I laptops. I spent a small fortune on them and uh, I wanted to mention something that I just realized. Uh, so Ashley watches a big YouTuber, has like 14 million subscribers and uh, she does these really weird videos like what happens if you melt down all the Bath and Body Works candles into one. Uh, but she made a video on what is uh, ASMR. It's that um, sound or video that's very pleasing or touches the senses in a certain way. And uh, I was watching it and I was like, ah, this is ridiculous. I don't have any of these uh, sensory things. But then I found one and it has to do with those two laptops. These days when you get a laptop with a touchpad, uh, it's inverted and it's so annoying. So I realized that when you go into the settings, when I do, and I reverse it from inverted to normal, I get this like sensation of so relaxed that it's correct. Um, so let me know if you have that, uh, that weird thing. I'm not sure I really care about all of your ASMR, but um, if your laptop inverted annoys you, write that down below. One of Ashley's friends is visiting today, so we're gonna head up to a local restaurant and have some lunch. And when we get back, I'm going to try to head out to the shop and work a little bit more on the coffee mug holder. Uh, eyes are, I think, healed. Uh, I've been taking the drops now for six days. It's supposed to be seven, but I may go ahead and put the uh, contacts back in this afternoon. Uh, see what happens. Uh, these glasses are at least uh, five, six, eight years old. Uh, at least two prescriptions ago, we'll put it that way. Uh, so I'm ready to uh, see clearly again. Well, uh, hope you have been enjoying this winter time. I've been sick a lot, but uh, I found some uh, D3 with K in my closet. I've been taking that and uh, just started some B12. So hopefully if I was deficient in one or both of those, I'll be doing better. But I'm already uh, feeling a lot better, sounding somewhat better, and um, just ready to kick this cold and, and be 
getting healthy again. So, uh, Ashley's hurting. She is less than a week away from the, uh, the baby. And so, um, yeah, she's, she's not doing a whole lot, but at the same time is doing a whole lot, if you know what I mean. So, uh, anyway, I'm really hoping that I can get some work done in the next couple of weeks, but to be honest, uh, I'm gonna be sitting around the house with this other child a lot and um, just tending to Ashley's needs, I have a feeling. But I'm gonna bring you along for those fun times as well. It's vlogging. Yeah, that's what I do. I really had contemplated putting my contacts back on. These lenses, uh, they've got a weird shape to them. So when I look up here at the camera gantry, which you see as a straight line, I see it uh, bowing out, which is uh, just kind of a weird thing. All straight lines do that with these glasses. Anyway, better than no glasses at all. Uh, so that being said, I'm not gonna work on anything that is uh, too detail oriented. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is take the coffee mug holder out here into the sun where it's a little bit warmer than 30 degrees and uh, get some more work done on that. Uh, it's, I think you've already seen this, but uh, it's pretty simple. I'm just cutting blocks to fit here in these gaps and then using wood glue and uh, clamps to uh, get that held together. So, and I am gonna be offsetting these a little bit. Uh, for instance, like if this one's here, I might put the other one up here on the other side. Uh oh. I really should wipe that glue. That's going to be ugly to sand. Good thing it's going to be on the back side. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get to work real quick. Yeah, it's at least 10 to 15 degrees warmer out here. Much appreciated. So obviously I was overdoing it on the glue before. So let's just kind of lighten it up a little bit here. And this time we're coming back here with a rag to clean up the extra wood glue. Oops. As it turns out, only a few of my clamps will work. The uh, bigger Irwin clamps and the, uh, the bigger but smaller handled long clamps will work. Uh, so I can only do about this many at a time, but that's okay. So while that uh, wood glue is setting, let's go to my car and do some cleaning. The uh, baby should be arriving next week, and so I need to uh, clear a spot for my car so that if I need to, I can start taking him places. So let's go do that. When I first bought the property, I basically lived and worked out of this car. So I always just throw stuff in here and uh, definitely does not look good and piles up pretty quick. So uh, coming up pretty soon, I'm gonna have a fun video. Back before I think even DJI was a company, I bought a helicopter. I flew it one time and wrecked it, and uh, I stopped flying it after that. I spent a fortune on this thing. I'm gonna say like $400. Um, it's the Blade 450 uh, 3D helicopter, but anyway, on a different day, we're gonna take this out and give it a fly. Let's get your shoes on. And we'll go out for a walk. Okay, let's go for a walk outside. <laughs> well, we better put your your hoke on. Yeah, let's get it on. What do you say?
in case you didn't know, I work third shift at a group home, and uh, I don't ever show any footage just for the uh, principle of the thing, but um, today I am at work cleaning out, oh, cleaning out some dust under our refrigerator. Yeah, check that out. I'm guessing it's been a day or two since anybody has cleaned that, so. Uh, can you see it? No? Anyway, it's bad up under there. So I'm gonna get that taken care of real quick. Man, these vacuums get fancier and fancier, don't they? I think tomorrow, Ashley and I are going to stay home from church because she's not feeling very well. And uh, we're probably going to do a, uh, a last cleaning before the baby gets here. Uh, so Ashley is uh, really big into having a clean house. I understand that. And uh, especially with the baby going to be here. Um, so tomorrow I may bring you along for a couple clips of cleaning uh, as we get the house ready uh, for the last uh, time. Oh, what color is the ball? Peppa Pig! Peppa Pig? Peppa Pig? How about a red ball? Red ball. Red ball. It's a red ball. Check it out. Got a haircut. <laughs> and I have the contacts in again, finally, after a week without. The house is clean now, for the most part. We still have a couple little things here and there to do, but I think we're prepared for the new baby. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. We're going to get Emma in bed. And I think I'm going to skirt off to the gym and work legs. I heard about this workout. It's uh, legs. It's the stuff that's like below the waist. I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.